and welcome to iAfrica, the program that celebrates all things to do with black excellence, African culture and living lifestyles. I am your host Nicole Jamal and in this episode we take you through the fashion world with Fred Chimtengo, popularly known as Mr. Roka and in the second segment we talk about music and entertainment with Prakash, the young man who found fame just on social media. In the third and final segment, we go all the way to Zrimba East constituency with the Zimbanete All Africa Village, where they talk us through some African history and of course, African knowledge systems. I hope you stay with me in this episode. I am your host, Nicole Jamu. I Africa searches for inspiration and innovation in all areas of popular culture, from fashion and design, through to architecture, art, food and travel. Hello and welcome to the first segment of iAfrica. Of course, we can never have an episode without a little bit of fashion. And today we have Craig Chimutengo, but you might know him as Mr. Roka. He is into men's fashion and his brand is all about luxury and it's very exquisite. Mr. Roka is a stylist, a suit and a shirt maker based in the UK. Why specifically the UK? Uh, well, that's where I live and that's, um, that's where my work is. But I service clients from all over the world, which 75% of that is in Zimbabwe. Did you always know that you were interested in fashion? Um, three things. I've always known that I'm involved in fashion based on three things, which is purpose, passion and profit. So because of my purpose, it's part innate. My grandfather was a tailor from 1955. By the time he touched here from Malawi, started working in a tailoring shop. And then, and then the passion now came along the way when I was exposed to clothes from a younger age. My mom used to do thrifting. So it became part of me. And then the last P, which is profit, made it into a business. So how has been styling people as a business, especially in Zim, is it profitable? Styling people in Zimbabwe, is it profitable? Well, yes or no, it depends on what you do. I concentrate on a very niche market. I solve rich people problems. So my market is a bit different. It's exclusive. It's only a small batch of people, but they pay well. Okay. So when did the brand Mr. Roka start? Mr. Roka started um, as a business, like to be able to monetize it. It started about pre-COVID, around 2019. But as a styling, as a stylist and personal shopping and all, it has been since 2015. Mm -hmm. where, where does Mr. Roka get inspiration from? A lot of people get inspiration from different sources. Um, you know, it could be spirituality, it could be physical people, and I draw inspiration from a lot. As a creative, we get inspiration from different sources. I mean, it could be from God, it could be spiritual, it could be physical people. I am a sponge. I draw inspiration from, from a lot of things. Yeah, but I stay grounded in, in God and spirituality. Mm -hmm. You live in the UK and you style people from Zimbabwe. How do you think African fashion is being taken in the world? If you, if, if you look at big fashion houses like LVMH or Louis Vuitton or Gucci or all these uh, big brands, they always draw their inspiration from Africa. So Africa has always been the epitome of fashion and style but we just don't know our value, that's all. We just don't know how to position ourselves in the global market. We, we are too local, you know, we are so comfortable with being the best in group six. We are comfortable in being the best in our own bubble, but the world is our oyster. The moment you start taking uh, 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 fashion seriously and putting it out there into the world, it will be a game changer. In your opinion, how best can Zimbabwean fashion players place themselves on the global market? Zimbabwean fashion has to be authentic. 
yeah, it has to be real. Um, there is there is that gap where the authenticity of our 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 fashion and our our inspiration has to be communicated into the world. You can you can look at that from uh, from a music point of view. Like the only international artists we have here in Zimbabwe is Mokomba because they can go to Sweden or Norway and play music to zero Zimbabweans, but the whole world appreciate them. That's the only international artist probably after Bundy Boys. So it's the same thing with fashion. We just have to own our space and be authentic about it and push it to the world. But what defines authenticity when it comes to fashion? Finding ourselves, who we are as a people. So what does that mean? We have to track back. The only way to predict the future is to look into history. So we have to check back like, okay, a thousand years ago, what did you used to wear? What were our inspiration? I Africa searches for inspiration and innovation in all areas of popular culture, from fashion and design, through to architecture, art, food, and travel. The focus is on outstanding individuals doing extraordinary things on the African continent. I Africa searches for inspiration and innovation in all areas of popular culture, from fashion and design through to architecture, art, food and travel. The focus is on outstanding individuals doing extraordinary things on the African continent. Welcome to the second segment of I Africa, and in this segment we speak to a young male musician who found his fame on social media and his name is Prikosh. Having a uh, supportive family is very important because you know everything got to start at home. I cannot be the person that I want to be if I don't have the support that I want from the people that are around me first. So I feel like it's very important to actually have those people around you to support you first. And then everyone knows you follow suit. My breakout point. Well, honestly, looking at myself right now, I cannot say that I've already reached the breakout point. I'm still looking for it. I'm still actually going towards it. But... Um, the song that I can say that I'm most proud of is the song I released, it released uh, recently called Dust. Uh, because it was um, somewhat almost personal, but not personal in a way. But, you know, it had a lot of meaning for me. It sounds like it's a heartbreak song, but for me it was not much of a heartbreak song. It was more of a motivational song. So when I saw people actually accepting it and loving it, uh, I, I knew the direction I need to take like with my music, so I'm actually now moving towards that uh, breaking point. There is a video that uh, went viral um, when I was doing cover songs and remixes on Instagram. I had a song that I remixed that was called People by Lee Bianca, Right? I remixed that song, I didn't know that it was going to go very far, but it did. Uh, you know, it reached over one million uh, views on Instagram. <laughs> So it uh, reached different parts of the world. And from there, I got to link up with different people, big people in Zimbabwe because of that and other people, even outside of Zimbabwe, like Ghana and all. So yeah, it was something very good. Mm -hmm. So w would you say that social media helped you to build a brand that we call Precaution? now? Social media was my most effective tool uh, in creating the brand because uh, that's why I started. That's why I started doing everything that I'm doing right now. Like, uh, that's why I learned how to do my music. I learned from other people that I was actually doing remixes of, like cover songs of. And at first it was difficult because, you know, people were not accepting. You could tell even by the likes and the views, but after some time, like with the persistence and the patience, it actually gave me what I was looking for. My favorite collaboration um, you mean currently? 
yeah, like the from collaborations all the collaborations that you've done, which one tops the list for you? Okay, so my favorite collaboration is uh, okay, it's it's Felinandi. I yeah. thought so. <laughs> it's Felinandi. It was actually uh, quite an honor to do a song with her. Like you know, if you are in this industry and you're still kind of coming up very small, like you're still coming up. You would want to have something with people like that, and having a chance to actually do a song with her was actually an honor. And I am um, actually even glad to say that there's there's more stuff coming up. I'm not I'm not saying with her, but because of her, because of where I started, now there are other things that I'm more even excited of that are coming up. Uh, I'm not gonna mention much, but yeah. <laughs> Well, the experience I've gained from the other big artists um, is something that I can say it's uh, very, very valuable. Because uh, for the, the likes of Japres, I've been around in Komaja uh, for quite some time, and he took me in as a, a like mentoring me and stuff. And it was something that that made me realize that music is broader. Because he taught me uh, other things I didn't know about, you know, the other parts of music, like the dynamics of music. Because if you listen to the songs I did before that, they were literally constant, like, um, there were no dynamics. He taught me stuff like that. He taught me how to actually even be patient, you know, in, 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 my, in my musical career. Because all he was doing, all he kept on doing for me, was to make sure that I make more music, more music, more music. But then soon after that, uh, he would actually kind of like catapult me, like push me to other people so that they can actually see what I'm doing. And because of that, now I'm being seen by other people, like many other people that I'm working with right now. And it's very important for me to actually even mention that. Well, um, the fact that I, uh, as I am right now, I managed to go to other countries like Ghana. It's a, it's a point of, of pride for me. Why? Because I understand that in Zimbabwe, I haven't reached a, a point of, of, I don't know, fame, or I'm not big, that big as yet. But the fact that other people out there, like in other countries even so, uh, got to, to respect and understand my music to a point of even inviting me there. When I went to Ghana, it was not even for a show, for example. It was because someone, a very good friend of mine now called Joe Pensio, is a footballer. He loved what I did. And what he wanted to do was create a friendship with me and create a relationship where we can be brothers. And now we're brothers. And I went to meet his family. And then we met other international musicians there in Ghana and everything. Uh, I went on television and everything. Uh, but because somebody else respected and understood what I was doing and just wanted to be a part of it. Yeah. If you were to change one thing about the Zimbabwe music industry, what would it be and why? Yeah, I would say the relationships and connections is something that I would change about Zimbabwe, especially in this industry. Why? Because we are lacking the one most fundamental thing that is uh, connecting and re uh, relating with each other in the industry. It's very important not to only see each other as um, competitors, but to also see each other as, um, I don't know, brothers, sisters, and all that kind of thing. Because we need to grow as Zimbabwe, not to challenge each other as Zimbabwe, which means that we gotta take our country out there not to be not to be fighting with each other inside or so i feel like it's a, it's a part of of uh, it's one part that we need to change as uh, musicians and creatives in Zimbabwe. we need to actually hold hands and kind of like take our country like to other, to other heights you know? if you were to collaborate with one artist and you had only one chance mm -hmm. from planet earth one artist who would it be from planet earth we're, to, we're not doing it's collaboration, not just for in Zimbabwe, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I never thought about that to be honest. I think, um, I'll say the person that I wanted to 
actually collaborate with. Okay, let me see the person I want to collaborate with right now would be Chazra. Why? Why? You seem like very different genres. It, that's the thing. There is this beauty in in creativity and in music. Music is art. It's not about me finding someone who sings like me for me to collaborate with them. No. I gotta find someone who has something that is that different that can make the whole piece kind of sweeter, you know. And I feel like Chance the Rapper, as a person, personally as a person who actually respects the whole writing process, I respect his writing. I'm on my knees cause they hunt me every day. They want me dead but they cannot find a way. Now I make sure that I sleep when I pray. Daona and daona. Mufungwa now peace ya wa shoma. Cause every time I sleep, no I wanna. Mmm, she gets in mobile. A young man who found his fame on Instagram and TikTok but is now a national sensation. Clearly, the sky is not the limit for him. Join us again for the third and final segment as we take you to Zimbanete, all Africa village, where we speak of African knowledge systems. I Africa searches for inspiration and innovation in all areas of popular culture from fashion and design through to architecture, art, food and travel. The focus is on outstanding individuals doing extraordinary things on the African continent. I Africa searches for inspiration and innovation in all areas of popular culture from fashion and design through to architecture, art, food and travel. The focus is on outstanding individuals doing extraordinary things on the African continent. Thank you for staying with us on iAfrica. Now in this final segment, we take you through a Zimbanete All Africa Village, which is an institution that is fighting to preserving African systems and African lifestyles. Okay, on today's episode of iAfrica, we are in Dreamba East constituency at Zimbanete Arts Center. And today we focus mostly on the Zezulu culture. Today's episode of I Africa is quite a special one and a unique one as we take a journey through not just the Zimbabwe and Shona culture, but cultures all around Africa. We are in a hut in Onzebanya, Pachishona, and I am joined here by Sekuru Samaita. Magadi Sekuru. And no Simba Shanguma Kombe. Magadi Ojanimi. I was to know far. Totangira. Mumbai at Tirinorewe. Do not tender Macombe. A Imbaya Tiri Banya Imba a no Gadzir, Wayagananga, Nanequitira, a Mitambo in Gadzim, Mitambo Yakafana and Emma Bira, Mitambo Yakafana and Membere, Rokana Zekupembere Ravashan, Mitambo Yakafana and Akana Neku. Tandara chai kwa anonzi madanda ya ya mchiba nuchedu. Mitambo ya kafana na kana ni mkwerera. Ino itiru wa mbanya. Saka kana muru mitambo ya kafana na nuku pembelela na uzi nendera na ne mwea. Na uzi nendera na ninyika zimiedu. Na uzi nendera na kana ne urukuro cha izu. Kana tatiru kutuwa ita izu zishu. Kukurukuri rana. Kuno bvumiru wa kukurukuri rana wa mba, mbanya. Mbanya muna yujiru wa juno sunga. Zivira, now to a tamba nu came now. Zau Saka, the banya, Dere Kukurana, the Meguitra, a Dandaro, Mitambo, Nichivan Chosech Network, 
mtsika zedu matsana ngura mtambo ya Rwanda sekuru um bega kweshere ndinotenda makombe eh umba zva zvinoita zvakafanana nokuti ndokupa imfananidzo kana watate guru wenyini mo makombe amakombe vakauya pamuri mimi mukanzi muri homwe ya makombe va makomba vavanenge vakuda kutambirwa vakanga vakuda kushika pamwana wa va makombe vakauya eh umba kana kubasa muno kanganwa kana kuti muno kanganwa asi kuti tikudzoserei kubasa tinotanga taitira makombe zvavari kuda kuti vagone kusunungura ine kuzokutungamirira inzira yekuenda kubasa ikoko uye zvevazo kuchengetai saka zvakanakira kuti zvinhu izvi zvikaitwa zvinovandudza upenyu wedu zvinoraramisa isusu uyeje zvinoti dzivirira muhondo todzidziswa tsika nemagariro zvichibva munyika dzimwe mataro nye kudzidzisa ndikuona munenge muri wese rare shidiki munogona kusiva zvakare kuti nyika i think tinenge tukurasa chivanhu zvingagadziriswa se eh ndinokutenda i makombi Eh umba dambudziko riripo ndoro kuti eh richiri kuonekwa atiri muchivano dambudziko ndeje rekuti tichiri muhutapwa tichiri muhutapwa atiri kufunga kuti takaita rusununguko atakaita rusununguko mukuzvitonga asi rusununguko munjere hatina rwasara rusununguko rwumunjere rokuti tichiti takabatwa njere dzedu dzichiri kufunga eh mutauro ovachena dzichiri kufungwa tsika dzevachena dzichiri kufunga maitiro echichena saiyo maitiro edu atinofana kurara manawo asi isusu Africa ndakambodzwa mumwe mutauri mukuru mukuru chaiwe imwe nyika achitaura achiti a chinoshamisa ndeche kuti e, Africa isati yazviziva kuti e, rusununguko rwayo ruchauya kana yasiya maitiro echichena saka e, kudzidzisana uku kuri mo kuti vanhu vagoziva uyeje tochipinda mukuti e, ti mukurasika kwedu kuri kuti konzera zvakare kutadza kubata pano panofanira kunge tichigona ku, ku kubudirira budiriro yedi iri kuraiwa nekune nepfungwa dzati inadzo pfungwa dze kuti chichuchena uya e chinhu chasaririra zvenyu makombe riga endi vanango chitaura e tinofunga kuti pachabva pangota ha illiterate illiterate literacy whatever hazvina basa riga ndi kutaurire nyaya iri kutoripo ndiye kudzidza turi kudzidza inonzi british education standard british education standard ayibude nokuti vanoramba vachidzigira kuti rambe ti nayo vari kuda kuti varamba vakati bata ipapo kuti tigone kuramba vachiti dzoreredza mudzira yavanoita se yavanoda utori hutapwa kuti chiinawo Zvokuti hatisati taane zvedu zvedu zvinonzi zvedu zvatinogadzira zvinodzidzisa mwana kubva ari mudiki achikura achikura inazvo achikura inazvo kuziva kuti mudzimu mudzimu chi mondoro chi shikiro chi kweyi anonze mushavi chi muchivanhu chedu mutsigadzedu nokuti zvini izvozvo zviri matiri tinozvarwa nazvo tigokura nazvo tigochembera nazvo mukurarama ndikada ngokupa imfananidzo uri nyore makombe imimi pamuri imimi e, muri mutoro wenau muri mu mutragerudzi wenau mu mune hushavi wa mimi nawo wakatokupfeka ayo unokuita kuti mite basa ra muri kuita iro riri saka zvini izvo zvo zvo zvino sumudzirwa nokudzidziswa uyeje zvinodzoreredza nyika yedu kuita nyika ine zenge iyane gwarara ayo nokuti haungaiende ku China kwa Buddha unotadza kuita zva Buddha kwa imo muno mumacho tauya tiri munyika yani handa tiri vana vane handa tiri kutadza nei kuita zvinoda nehanda kana kuti zvakare wana nehanda achidimburwa musoro nemarungu achiti inini e, irwai zvenyu hondo vana vangu muchaenderira mberi nehondo asi siana ine zvinhu zvevachena munona zvigadzirisike kuti chadzokera pachivanhu chedu chaicho senyika eh ndonoda kutenda ipapo eh kugadzirika zvichatogadzirika nokuti hondo yedi enama haisi kuzopera kana tisina kugadzirisa ipapo 
Tirukutaga posa hapa kuti kwa chinoramba chakati wisira pasise nyika chi. Chinoramba chichiramba kuti zvinzvedu zvitike zvi zvishande zvakanaka chi ina uyoyo. Saka kushikira tadzokera ipapo tichatozopaona chete. Vakatomirira vanyika dzimu kuti tichapaona kana marwadza anyanyorwadza tichapaona tichapagadzirisa. Uye zve tichapagadzirisa tisingade tichiita se tichida. Nokuti ndipo chete panogona kuti eh zvose zvatiri kunetse kanazvo namo iri kuti shupa kana ungawe hupfumi uri kuti netsa kuti tinyatsoona gwararawo unyatsotambanudzwa kudai uve nehwaro unonyatsooneka As some of you might already have said there is a stark contrast between what we call African culture and Western culture but what we are advocating for now is the preservation of that. And those were the words of Sekuru Samaita. So this was all that we had for you on this episode of I Africa. I hope that you were inspired and you were motivated to tell your African story. Join us again for the next episode of I Africa. Until then, do take care. I Africa searches for inspiration and innovation in all areas of popular culture, from fashion and design through to architecture, art, food and travel. The focus is on outstanding individuals doing extraordinary things on the African continent. iAfrica presents creatives of their home nations, visiting renowned designers, musicians, architects who are leaving their mark on the young continent. From well-known brands through to ambitious startups, Every week, iAfrica seeks out the continent's best design and lifestyle innovations. Join me, your host Nicole Jamu, as we take a round trip across Africa and get you inspired, motivated and future-oriented.